My name is Irv Kagi. I'm president of Transar Filter USA. Transar is a company that specializes in EDM filtration. Our patented system provides continuous and absolute one micron. There's been many changes in the EDM industry over the past few years. Two rather important ones. One is the increased awareness of the importance of clean oil in the EDM machining process. The other is a concern with disposed real waste. How do we do it properly? How do we do it efficiently? What's the right way? Today we'll be meeting with a company that's meeting this challenge head on. We're meeting today with Greg Ellenberger, tooling at Mac Tools in Sabine, Ohio. Mac is a company that employs EDM machines and the manufacturing of forging dies. Greg, perhaps you can introduce us to Mac Tools and tell us about the applications you perform here. Herb, we employ three EDM during this facility to produce forging dies for the hand tool industry. Mac Tools was started in 1938, was acquired by the Stanley Works in 1980. We're a very profitable, very successful company, and we're very much interested in our people and environment. You know, Greg, one of the problems facing companies both large and small in the coming years is disposal of industrial waste. Uh, in this case, we're talking about EDM sludge. Uh, the greater the volume, the greater the problem. Uh, once it's picked up from the factory, it's got to go somewhere. Uh, can you tell me, what sort of steps has Matt taken to address this challenge here? Well, as a corporation, we have a goal to reduce our industrial waste by 50% by 1995. Luckily, we've had the end of the problem for a few years, and we started in 1989 replacing our centralized filtration system with the new Transor system that we have today. As you know, Greg, the Transor system is a patented system, and it's designed so that rather than replacing the filters, they're cleansed through an automated back flushing procedure that takes place every eight hours. When the back flushing takes place, there's no downtime in the machine tools and no operator involved. Through the use of compressed air, you remove the dirt and debris from it and place it into a paper-lined sludge box, which is located in the rear of the system. If you were to analyze the sludge content in the sludge box, you find that better than 95% is electrode workpiece material. That means less volume, significantly less volume as compared to competitive filtration systems. Greg, can you tell us about your experience with various forms of EDM filtration? Or with any form of filtration, you have a certain amount of workpiece and electrode material you remove. With our past uh, methods of filtration, which included paper cartridge filters, as well as a dye to mesa earth system, the majority of what we were disposing of was those matters and not the actual sludge from the EDM. We chose to go with the Transor system because it was the most efficient way of filtering our system and also the most efficient way of disposing of that debris. In fact, we went from 50 drums of sludge a year down to 10 drums of sludge. And we went from an oil consumption of fulls of oil a year to 13 barrels a year. I imagine that saved your company lots of money. Oh, that was fantastic, the savings we realized from that. So can you tell me, Greg, how often have you had to change the filter elements in the Transor system? Well, we end that the average life is 15,000 hours. However, we've had our system for over four years now and have over 17,000 hours on the system and have not changed the elements yet. In addition to that, since the Transor system filters to run, we've never changed the oil on our EDMs either. The oil today is as clean as it was the day we put it in. could have justified the Transor system just on the reduction of our disposal cost. However, we also experienced a reduction of 25% of the machining with improved surface finishes. Because of the improved surface finishes, we've experienced a reduction of 40% in our polishing time. I strongly recommend the Transor system to any EDM user, both large and small. As well as being a financially sound investment, we also feel better about the amount of material that we're introducing back into the environment. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Greg Ellenberger and our friends at Mac Tools for their time and effort today. To invite you to contact Transor Filter to address your EDM filtration concerns and disposal procedures. After all, one micron makes a world of difference, both where you live and where you work.